whether it's a case of overbreeding or the poor economy or something else altogether, animal rescue groups are rescuing more dogs than ever before. As Rick Wells shows us, the head of the Oklahoma West Highland Terrier Rescue Group is up to her knees in little white and black dogs that need good homes. Come on, we want it! Come on, guys! Oh, my God! Holy Toledo! Meredith Butcher runs Oklahoma Westie Rescue, and she's got a house full. We rescue Westie, Scotties, and Karen Terriers. They branched out to the other breed, she says, because they didn't have groups of their own. Rescue groups like this one saved these dogs from the uncertain future of an animal shelter. Over the past five years, they've rescued and adopted out more than 800 dogs. This last year has been our worst. We're probably on track to adopt out 300 this year. There are a number of reasons why, she says. Because they're small and cute, they tend to be overbred, but the down economy is also a big reason why. People uh, losing their jobs, uh, having to move to smaller places. Says the Oklahoma Westie Rescue has more than 100 volunteers in eight different states. They place dogs in homes all over the country. Ainsley, out of the hole. No. Yeah, they tend to dig because they're by nature varmint hunters. They're great dogs for children, but not the really young ones who tend to pull ears and tails. Come here. They're trainable, come here. Come here. but as you can see, they, they do have minds problem. of their own. Come here. Griffin. Griffin. Come here, Griff. Come on, Keegan. Come here. They're not. <laughs> she said she heard of a breeder in southern Oklahoma is going out of business with half a dozen or more dogs to place. Oh, pretty. Very nice. Benny. Soon she really will be up to her good knees boy. in hungry mouths yeah. to feed. Who's going to shake? All right, good boy. Good boy. Rick Wells, the news on six. Interested in one of those cute little dogs? Well, the Oklahoma Westie Rescue has a website where you can see pictures and get more information on adoption. We've provided a link in the web version of Rick's story at newson6.com.